Hello everyone, this is Michael and Denise Bravo. We're so thankful you could join us tonight. Um, Denise has been volunteering now for about a year mm -hmm. on worship team. And uh, our son Xander has been fortunate enough to volunteer his time in the kids ministry. And I have been enjoying uh, working on the security and medical team for almost two years now. So uh, today we will be discussing being satisfied with the Lord. So Psalm, Psalm uh, 37, 4 tells us, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. And uh, for me, when I thought and prayed about that, it really just goes back to, I think in today's society, we've really become creatures of instant gratification. And we always need the latest and greatest, and we want it now. And um, we're, we're not very good at patiently waiting, um, myself included. I'm, I'm guilty of that. But um, doing some studying, I discovered that even what we deem to be not great news or something that we're not happy with can actually be and is part of the Lord's plan. And he will use it for his glory. And if we're patient in it, and we give thanks, and we're just happy with with what we're given on a daily basis. It can turn into uh, a gift from God. I agree, indeed. Um, I don't know about you all, but uh, 2020 has tried our resolve. It's yes. tried our hearts, and uh, have really laid my heart a lot upon thinking about how I, this could change. And um, in Isaiah 58:11, it says. And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire in scorched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a waterbed garden, like a spring of water who, whose waters do not fail. I mean, what else can we ask than to just have that satisfaction in the Lord alone? It truly has been the biggest gift in learning that God has given us all these promises of satisfaction, that that is where we can dwell and that we do not need to be discontent. He said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. So I invite you, I invite myself to work on just dwelling in that satisfaction in the Lord alone. Uh, no one else is going to give us that, not a new president, not a new mandate, not a new job. No one else is going to satisfy our longing soul better than God has. And uh, it always does remind me in Psalm 1611 where it speaks about in your presence, there is a fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So how blessed we are that if we can lay our sorrows and our dissatisfaction and our heartache, they can be laid upon him and all of them are taken away. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the one mental cue that we try to keep, especially during um, this last part of the year when things get so crazy, is um, look for the good in every situation and everything happens for a purpose and it serves us. It does indeed. So... Uh, without that, I think we would like to invite you to pray with us, and we hope and pray that you find the path to life and satisfaction, and that you dwell with no one else but the Lord. Okay. Hubby? Yes. Dear Lord, uh, thank you for giving us this time. Thank you for speaking to us and for your many gifts and blessings. Please uh, give us calm hearts and peaceful minds so that we can look for the good in every situation that you put before us and that we have the discernment and ability to give you praise and grace always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.